Welcome back. In this video we will make a vertical bar chart like this and a horizontal bar chart like this and I will drop the code at computersciencecafe.com so let's get started. Okay, continuing from where we left off on the last video where we created this line graph, I'm going to use the same data uh, to create a bar chart with two bars. So this is data about text, so I'm just going to change the variable name for this. And because we're going to have two separate bars, I will call this one group one. And then when I bring in the data for the uh, other bar, I will call that group two. This time it's a bar chart, so if I change this method here to bar, and then because I've changed the variables, um, I'm, I'll change here, so use tech. Um, and then use the values from group one. I can keep the same title, the same X label and the same Y label. And if I run this now, so here we have the bar chart so far with one bar in there. I'm going to want two bars. Now, two things. The bars here are too wide for me to fit two bars. And the bars at the moment are showing, uh, are centered on each of the markers. And what I'm going to need to do is to say, I want to move this bar to the left of the marker to give space for the next bar to go to the right of the marker. So um, the first thing I can change the width. So for example, if I do uh, width equals 0.4, that will make that bar thinner. If I just run this again, okay, and we can see now that each of those bars um, is thinner, which is starting to give us more space for the next bar. The next thing I want to do is move this to the left of the marker. To do that, I'm going to have to temporarily replace these values with numbers. And to do that, I'm going to import uh, NumPy. So import NumPy as NP. And then I'm going to use that to create an array of numbers. Um, there are 10 items, so I need 10 numbers. Um, but I can do, for example, X position. This is just a variable, so I can call this anything I want. Um, I'm calling it X position because it will mark that X position. And then I want to use NumPy to create a range of numbers for the length of tech. Um, so that should create 10 numbers from 0 to 9. If I just print uh, X position so we can see what's happening there. And run. Here we have the 10 numbers that this NP arranged len of tech has now produced. What I want to do now is replace this tech, these labels, with those numbers. So if I change it for that variable and then run again, okay, I can see that I now have numbers instead of the labels and what I can do now, as for example on this number 4, this bar is in the center of that number 4 and I want to shift it to the left. So I can actually do, for example, 4 minus 0 0.2 will shift that bar to the left. If I have a look now at doing minus 0 0.2, so the X position number, which in the example would have been 4, minus 0 0.2, if I run this again now, we can see that those bars have now shifted to the left of each of these numbers placeholders. I can now introduce the second bar because we've created space for it on this chart. So if I copy in some more values, so here I have some values for group two, and then if I copy this and change group 1 for group 2 and this time instead of being minus 0 0.2 if I make this plus 0 0.2 it will go to the right of that marker okay looking good so far we have uh, two bars in they're in the right place and they look okay 
The next thing is I can now change these values back to the tech labels. To do that, I can use the uh, ticks method. If I do plt and x ticks, and then what do I want? So the x position, use the x position, but show tech, which is the list here. So I'm using this, but I'm actually showing the user tech. If I run again. Okay, so we can now see that the labels for the tech have come back and this chart is looking pretty good. The last thing I'll do in this video is just add the legend. So here I can say label equals group one and then here label equals and group two. I then need to tell Python to show that, so plt dot legend, open brackets, close brackets, and I think that should do if I run again. Okay, so I now have a nice neat bar chart with two bars in. Okay, now we've done a vertical bar chart, let's just have a quick look at how to change the code to make a horizontal bar chart. So moving on from the vertical bar chart, just a few simple changes for the horizontal bar chart. Firstly, if I just put bar H here, so that stands for bar horizontal, I then, instead of the width of each of those bars, I now need to do the height. Um, and then the last thing I need to change after that is because here I've got the X ticks which replace the numbers across the horizontal for the values from this tech list, I now need to change that for Y ticks so it changes the values across the vertical. Okay, if I run this now, okay, so we can see that the chart is looking good. Uh, the last things that I should have changed is I have the user rating and the tech type on the wrong axis. Uh, so I can just make a simple change here. So I can change this one to Y and this one to X and then run again. And there we have it. Uh, quick change and the bar chart is now looking good horizontal. I hope you found this video useful. Please visit the website for more help and information and please like and subscribe.